Hello fellow pipe smokers, Dianas here on this Tuesday evening. We still have quite a lot of rain throughout the day, which is actually good because there was a drought. So uh, we had almost none of the, ra uh, of the rain uh, this spring, so this this comes uh, quite useful, let's say, for our agriculture and all the green areas and so on. But also the temperature dropped, so you can see me wearing a bit of warmer clothes because the windows are open. Smoking Lakeland Dark from Samuel Gavitt, Virginia, Kentucky. This one is from February 2016. I opened a small jar, I think yesterday, that the tobacco came from this tin in this Peterson uh, 03 Christmas 2017. And you know, I'm having something that resembles coffee or maybe even Irish cappuccino here in the mug. Just water my palate, let's say. Now, yesterday evening, when I uploaded my uh, YouTube video, I checked the comments on my uh, laptop. Uh, I checked the comments in the I think it's a creator studio or YouTube studio and so on and I found that there are three comments that were like pot potentially inappropriate and two of the and two that are held for a review or something like that and I solved those three first and they were okay and then when I wanted to check the two that were held for the review, there were no comments there in the list. And I re refreshed the page and every done everything, went out and back and so on. There was, it was still shown that there are two comments there, but they were not there. So, and then I went to the comment step, let's say, where all the comments are listed. So approved, awaiting for approval and for the review. I think this is not the inappropriate. So I have comments, but the one that were held for the review and those that you need to approve. And I saw that they are like 100 comments in the last six, seven months that I wasn't informed about. This pipe has a uh, army mount and this tobacco is quite moist. So I will have to dry my pipe a few times. I don't want to dry it out too much. I don't know how much um, taste it will lose, but uh, I, will, I, I think I will need to dry it more than I already did. So at least 100 comments 
in the last six to seven months. And that's quite a lot. So a number of you have written a comment under my videos and I didn't answer that. Because this was maybe a comment not under the last video or the three last videos, but maybe videos that were uh, published, let's say, some time ago. And since I'm not checking all the videos to see if there are any new comments, I, let's say, rely on uh, notifications by YouTube. I didn't notice that. So, I did give a warm heart to each and every comment I found that I didn't respond to. I didn't write a, a comment back because this the, the time distance is too big or too long. But I want to apologize for that. I will do uh, better work and check more often my comments on the laptop, not on the tablet that I usually use for that. So to to check, uh, to watch videos, to check for the comments and to answer them. And I know that Northeast Piper UK mentioned that, that he noticed that like a week or so ago he's not getting notifications and few other pipers also notice it that they're not being informed about comments on their youtube uh, channel or under their videos so youtube has an, a number of issues Tasty blend, this lake and dark, Virginia, Virginia, Kentucky. This is a package from our friend Thomas from Kiel. He was kind enough to send me a few tobaccos. And um, a few weeks ago, I noticed that there is a dent in my cellar. If you know what I mean. And I said I need to fill this dent. That's why I... Peterson University flake, 7th of March 2019. It's really nice that now there is a uh, Scandinavian tobacco group coat so we can properly date these tobaccos. So Peterson University flake. This style of tobacco is allowing the smoker to rub out the flake to the texture preferred. Of course. The blend is mixed with mahogany brown and orange Virginia and sun cured leaf from India and it's slowly pressed for days into cakes of tobacco and then sliced into flake pieces. Sun curing, normal for oriental tobaccos, there is no oriental tobacco in here, but it seems like tobacco producers, so not the blend producers, but tobacco producers where the tobacco is grown and then cured and so on, are experimenting with different curing, curing methods 
like the one that we are going to talk in H and H Rustica and sun curing Indian leaf. This might be burly, let's say. It's a new kind of curing uh, method for burly tobacco. That's what I'm why I'm saying that. So this dent will now be filled, so it will be. And now to this H and H Rustica. Under yesterday's video, you are able to find a uh, link to Per George Jensen's uh, video about this. So I thought I will get. I will get uh, another one, another tin, but the seller who said that uh, they that he needs five days to to get it informed me that he will need four to six weeks to get a new shipment of this. Nevertheless, that for, that for Germany they said that it will be widely available after 15th of May. So it seems like German pipe smokers are really digging this tobacco. So I'm not going to go into a detail too much about this tobacco, but standard McBaron H&H line packaging of tobacco. Three rows of three rows of um, flakes, let's say. Let me try to not... Quite dark. And they have a really nice smell. This is a really tasty smell. Similar to I'm not going to say Lakeland Dark, but it, it is in this way, but more into, let's say, um, Bold Kentucky or Peterson Irish Flake. So dark, uh, earthy notes. And since I will not be able to get another tin from some, for some time, I will uh, share this this one with uh, a fellow pipe smoker that mm, requested one tin. And uh, what I wanted to talk about is that we have like air cured and uh, fire cured Virginias here. Virginias are usually um, flu cured. And again, like in this description, we have uh, let's say new methods that are not traditional of curing that, that are not traditional to certain kinds of tobacco, let's say Burley, Oriental, and Virginia. I'm not talking about Rustica. This is a different kind of a beast. So let me. Just uh, finish with a few tips. Now, as you know, I'm in the process of cleaning my pipes. A number of them are already cleaned. I have like maybe 15 to clean. And When you, when you are buying, let's say, estate pipes, especially if you want 
want to pay a low amount of money for for them and if you want to have like old pipes that sometimes you get pipes that are uh, not only old but they are also damaged uh, worn out uh, charred burned and so on so think before you buy them if you will be able to repair them or you will be able to clean them to a level that you desire your pipes to be otherwise you can just rim them out clean with the alcohols and let's say maybe even uh, polish a stem a little bit and that's it and you can smoke that pipe it's technically it's okay but if you really want to clean them look so it looks also nice and beautiful when you see it on the stand somewhere this is something totally different and I've been seeing videos on YouTube when pipers who clean their pipes will take, let's say this is a uh, Peterson Kildare 106, really good smoker, one of my, this is my fourth pipe, let's say, and they will set, take a piece of uh, a bag and they will put the q-tip in it and then they will close the channel of the pipe here then they will put the salt in it and an alcohol and that's it and they will clean the bowl okay now let me show you something i have four pipes here i will clean them after the recording of this video but let me show you something this is Brebia Manhattan and you can see that there, there are some impurities on the top of the salt here and these are the impurities in the shank the shank is the most dirtiest part of our bowl You can see this part, and you can see this, almost black. So don't just close this part, don't close the shank. I always, this was also a question of, of one of the, the, the viewers, uh, I always put first the salt in the shank and then I close it and then I put the salt here in the in the bowl tap a little bit so it will um, settle down let's say add if I need and then I will put an alcohol in and always nevertheless that I cleaned this pipe thoroughly with an alcohol a number of different kinds of q-tips pipe cleaners different against q-tips uh, this tampons tooth tampons or mouth tampons from the dentist it was so the q-tip came out white clean when i stopped cleaning it with an alcohol it was white and now you look how dirty the shank still is when you put in the salt and alcohol so this is something that will also influence the flavor of your smoking if you are trying to clean a, an estate pipe oh, estate pipe or even one of your pipes that you didn't clean thoroughly in a long time and if you are uh, if you have a habit of banging the pipe against the ashtray not the cork but the ashtray look at this pipe this this is a Sherlock Holmes pipe really nice grain everything is okay look at this a part here this part 
this was banged against something. Everything was charred. There is no wax here. No wax. I have to scrape off all the the, the chart. Now let's say wood and wax and everything and this is really neglecting the pipe and I also shown this one so it was totally burned it was reamed in the wrong way so it will never be never be the same pipe as it was when it was new or let's say even resembling the new pipe so clean the shank you can use pipe retort i know that there are uh, videos how to do that i have more or less all the all the equipment here because when i started to clean my pipes i bought all the equipment three different sets of uh, reamers and uh, all the the alcohol uh, salt I ordered it from to be the right salt let's say if there is a right salt um, from UK and bought everything to do the pipe, re pipe retort and so on but and I I have a, a, a number of estate pipes and a number of them I cleaned from scratch so I have quite a lot of experience, not as many as some of our fellow pipe smokers that do this almost professionally, but I have a lot of experience. So care for your pipes, don't bang your tempers on the top of, on the rim of the pipe because you will damage it. Don't burn it like that. Don't use uh, the strong uh, lighters. Uh, for cigars on them and so on if you care for the pipe you can use it for the rest of your life and it, and somebody can inherit this pipe this pipe from you okay sorry again for being so long i'm happy that i received this uh, H, H rustic i will be smoking it soon i will share it a little bit with uh, a fellow pipe smoker who also ordered one but this is a different box that i'm waiting to come bought some university flake from peterson and i gave you some of my thoughts about uh, cleaning restoring estate pipes Again, sorry for not being, uh, not answering all the, the comments. As I said, I wasn't notified about them, and I will be making better job checking, checking that on my laptop, not laptop, not only on my uh, tablet. So, I hope your week is well. I hope that you are all okay, that you are all healthy and happy. And until we meet again. I wish you all a lot of pleasant smokes.